Welcome back to our Inkscape lessons. Today we're going to continue developing our poster by adding text. Um, what you'll notice is that in the options down here, there's a giant letter A. That is your text options. When you click on it, uh, you have two choices. One is just to click and start typing. So be kind. Uh, the other one is to actually draw a box and then you could type in there, be kind. Both work the same way. Um, what you're going to want to do is eventually you're going to want to highlight your text in order to make changes. You can change different words at different times, but I'm going to choose to change all of them at once. I'm going to choose uh, a random color. Let's start with red to see if it looks good. It doesn't. What a surprise. So I can double click on that. Or uh, just in case you're curious, if you want to highlight the whole row, you could triple click on it and it highlights the whole row with a triple click. I can also change my fonts up here. So there's a whole list of fonts, which of course are now not loading for me. Um, Inkscape is having a hard time. There we go. And so I can scroll through this list using my mouse wheel. Um, I'm going to choose something big and bold. There we go. I can also change uh, whether I want it to be bold or not. This one doesn't seem to have that choice because it's already bold in the title. And I can also change the size this way. Uh, this is not usually the way I change the size, but it's an easy enough way to change the size. You can make it big, you can make it small. The better way I find to change the size is actually to use the top black arrow, which we learned about in the last session. So for instance, I can move this over here and then I can just resize it however I want. Now, uh, by, by the way, that includes upside down and that includes backwards. I, I don't know why you would want those, but it does include those. I'm just going to go ahead and undo that so I get back to my original size. And what I realize is that the red is just not working for me and the size is wrong. And there's a number of other things that I want to adjust. So the first thing I want to say about adjusting is there's a lock right here between the width and the height me measurements. If I click that lock, it doesn't lock it to not edit it anymore. What it does is it locks the aspect ratio. So if I grab the corner and resize it, it doesn't make it weird and skewed or squished or anything. It keeps it the same way. So that's what the benefit of that little lock button is. Next, I'm going to go ahead and choose black. I'm going to choose black this way. And then I could choose red as my stroke. Let's see if that looks very good. It does not. That looks terrible. So I could choose red as my fill again and then go back and choose black as my stroke. Let's see if that looks better. Well, that looks a little bit better. But again, this I'm not winning any points for, for that. The other thing I'm realizing about this is be kind. I really want the K to be a capital letter. So I'm going to double click on that again. Double click, double click. Keep double clicking until you get back to edit mode. And then I can resize. Now, I will say some of you will type in something really long, like, and don't make a mess. So what's just happened here is I've typed outside of the box that I have. So in the bottom corner here, there's a box. There, sorry, there's a little white um, little handle. And if I grab that, I can resize it. And now I can resize it to say, be kind and don't make a mess this way. Or I can say, Re be kind and don't make a mess this way. And I can really do it as tiny or as wide as I want. This is an easy way for you to figure out how you want to do that. And then I'm like, yeah, no, I don't want to say be kind and don't make a mess. That's just silly. I'm just going to say be kind. Okay. Please remember from our last video that down here beside the stroke is the width. And I can click on that and choose two. And now the black pops and makes it a little bit better. I'm going to go back, back to the black arrow mode, the top black arrow mode. And I can put it like this. And now it's a little bit more obvious. Actually, I'm going to put it down here and make it a little bit smaller so it fits a little bit better. Oops, I grabbed the wrong thing. Got to be careful what you click on because it, it's very it's very sensitive. I'll make sure I click right in the middle. So there we go. Be kind. And I've got my cool little drawings. Okay. I'm going to stop there for now because this was just a quick introduction to how to use text. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to put text on a curved path.